What's going on guys? How y'all doing? I hope you are all awesome. Anyways, it's good to be back. Um, as you all know, we did the um, E-Revo 2.0 um, video. Had that up a couple days ago, uh, maybe a week or so ago. And, uh, you know, busy week, so it's been kind of hard to get anything out. But I did want to make a uh, video today on what we're going to be upgrading on this bad boy. Um, I've not used it yet because I've been waiting for some stuff to come in. So without further ado, um, let me show you what I've got to uh, upgrade the E-Revo um, and get this thing, you know, ready to rip. So first thing um, with the E-Revo, uh, you got the motor, it's got nice heat sinking in that. But one of the things that I definitely suggest is that you get a additional heat sink and uh, fan set up for your motor. I went with the Yeah Racing um, Blue Anodized Heat Shield and dual fan set up uh, for the motor on there. So we'll be installing that. That is the first upgrade. Um, this was like, uh, 20 something bucks and uh, a lot of good reviews on it. So you can check those out online if you have one and you're looking for a good fan setup for it. Um, that'll be for the motor. Um, obviously we've got our Loctite to go without saying you need that. Um, next upgrade that we do have is the GPM racing, uh, servo arms aluminum servo arms and uh uh ah can't think of the part um steering links so we've got that and those will be replacing the stock plastic ones right here um not that they're i'll keep them but uh, i prefer metal steering components uh to a certain degree so we will be switching these out and uh again that's gpm racing and that will replace these plastic uh servo horns and these rods right there much heavier duty um so we're going to be doing that and that's the second upgrade thing we got going on then we have the um, Traxxas push rods, aluminum, with the plastic ends. Uh, they do make them with uh, aluminum ends as well. However, I do prefer the plastic ends. Um, that's Traxxas part number 8618R. You need four of them for the complete truck. And that's going to replace these rods right here on each area of the truck and um nothing is really wrong with the steel ones they're a good product um aluminum this is a 70 75 aluminum which is actually um per weight and strength ratio this is actually stronger um you can get the aluminum ends on there as well but i do prefer a weak link um these are a lot cheaper to buy a pack of eight of these than it is to replace the rod. So I would rather this break and replace the end than the actual rod. So I went with the aluminum with the plastic end. So we got those to be replaced. Um, we also got the Traxxas rear brace, which will replace this plastic one here. Um, I personally think that's, it just looks like a weak spot on the truck. Um, and, uh, I figure why not just go ahead and add this on there immediately and remedy any issues that may come out of this plastic rear brace. It just, uh, so we'll be doing that. And that's tracks as part number 5632. If you're interested in it, it was like a uh, 10 bucks. So not even expensive. This was 10 bucks. These were like uh, 15, I think, per pack. 
um, 20, and these were like 10. Um, then we have the RPM body savers. And while I absolutely love the new design of this, um, they have been known to have the screws actually pull through. And these RPM body savers actually give more surface area to the body so that the actual uh, mounting points don't rip through the Lexan body. Um, these were $10 as no, these were $7. Um, and I think it's well worth $7 versus a 30 or $40 body. So we'll be putting those on as well. Um, along, since we're switching out the, um, uh, some of the parts, what I did want to just go over is I did buy a couple spare parts too. We have the Cush drive. Um, I ordered an extra one of those, um, ordered an extra spur gear, um, just to have, we've got extra, uh, rod ends. Like I said, the pack there for the aluminum rods, if need be. And we have the actual, um, tow link rods. So I bought those as extra parts. Um, what else do I got in here? Uh, they sent me this by mistake. It's a servo cover. Um, so, but I have that if you need a servo cover, if you want to run one servo setup. And we also have the, um, Kush drive housing as a spare part. The next upgrade that we'll be doing is the Traxxas um, center drive steel uh, drive shafts. These are part number 8655R and they will replace the stock plastic ones right down in there in the front and the back. I love that Traxxas put all the other um, steel drive links in there. However, um, I've had a lot of Traxxas vehicles, Nitro and everything, and those have always been a weak spot. So I went ahead and ordered this. Uh, the center drive shafts, front and rear, 8655R. I think these were like 50 bucks. Um, and then we have one more upgrade to go over today. What I have here is two Traxxas high torque 400 inch ounce servos, waterproof, um, metal gear. Um, these are normally $99 a piece. Um, I got a little bit of a deal on it. I got them for 89 a piece. So I just gonna go ahead and stick with the, get rid of these servos right here and uh, you're gonna take those out and we're going to mount the Traxxas Red high torque 400 inch ounce uh, waterproof metal gear servos on there. Um, just if you interested in the specs on these, uh, it's a brushless motor, six volt through 7.4 volts. It's 400 ounce inch at six volt. Um, and it's right around 500 if you were running 7.4 volts. Uh, the speed on it is 0 0.15 seconds at 60, uh, 6 volt, excuse me, and obviously it'll go a little faster at uh, higher voltage. 64 grams is the weight, metal gear, it's 25 tooth output, plastic top and bottom with an aluminum center, and it's a uh, digital uh, servo. And yes, there are plenty of great servos out there. Um, dollar for dollar, I really think this is a good servo for, uh, the money. I mean, it's an $89 servo all day and that's what I paid for it, um, a piece. So I'm happy with the purchase on there and it's direct drop in fit. Nothing has to be done. Um, so super stoked about that. Um, if you're going to use this on the, uh, TRX4, you will need to use, uh, a BEC. Um, and that's part number 2262. If you are interested in doing that, um, it will not work on that vehicle without the battery eliminator circuit. 
So that's some information on those. We'll be putting those in. Um, I got these from dollarhobbies.com. Uh, I really got a good deal on that because I bought a lot of stuff from them. Pretty much everything I got was for them. So I got a good deal on that. So we'll be mounting those in there too. And in order to mount those in there, uh, I did have to opt to use the heavy duty uh, servo saver metal spring. So we went ahead and got that and we'll be putting that in there. And the only other thing that I've got so far is I got these off Amazon. There's some made in China, but I'm gonna tell you, they're really good quality for, I think they were like 15 bucks. And uh, it's a set of 1.5, 2, 2.5, and three. So it'll cover most of your uh, hex screws that your vehicle needs. Um, so you can pick those up if, if uh, they're from Hobby Ace. And uh, if you need a set of these, you can get those. Um, so that's what we've got now. I also do have uh, the uh, turnbuckle arms. They are not in yet, so we will re be replacing those. And that is going to be uh, these right here. We're gonna be replacing all of them as well. And they are the red aluminum as well. I like the red and blue color scheme. So that's what we'll be doing to this bad boy. So stay tuned for some videos in the near future to uh, install these things and get them all ready and uh, make this little thing scream. So until that time, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for all the new subscribers. I appreciate you being here. Um, it's great to have you. If you have any questions, comments, please, um, you know, put them below. In the comment section, I get back to pretty much everybody generally within, you know, generally within 24 hours, I will answer your comment or at least reply to you um, if the comment uh, deems to need replying to. So thanks for being the best part of the channel. Thank you for the continued support. I uh, love you guys and we will see you soon for the upgrade videos. Thanks for watching.